Eat some cheese, some tuna, eggs. These are two egg whites and some flour in a bag. And here we go. We are just burning up the chilies. As you can see here, they are getting burned very good. They have to come black and black and black. See, some of them when they are juicy, they spill the juices a little bit. So we are going to burn them. And after they are burned, you put them in a bag to sweat and you are going to scrape all this out. But they have to be burned first before we cook them. Okay? Okay, now that we have the chile relleno, we are going to, I have a little opening right here. So I'm going to put some of the cheese inside. You can put a lot, put a lot because when I used to be little, uh, I used to like to find a lot of cheese on my chili. Okay, so we are going to put a little bit more. And you can close it with the help of a toothpick. As if you were sewing right here. See? Right there. And now we're going to pass it through the flour. And now, very well, just turn it everywhere. Make sure you get flour everywhere because that's going to give it the spongy uh, texture. And then over the egg, see? Very nice, like that. And now we go to hot oil, okay? Be very careful. Slowly, so we don't splatter. I'm going to bring you closer so you can see the nice color it's getting. Just turn it softly. Okay, for chile rellenos it's very usual to eat it with white rice or brown rice or red rice as we make it in Mexico. And so for that we make some salsa, basically the salsa uh, to serve the chiles in is uh, tomato, a little bit of cumin, garlic, onion, and Wow, it's opening. That's why it's splattering a little bit. See, the cheese is cooked. So we put it in this tomato salsa right here. And let it sit. And then we're going to cover them with the salsa and serve them over rice. Your chiles rellenos. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.